What's up guys, it's Bulva the Fellhand. Today we have another interview for none other than V Tanker. V Tanker, say hi to everybody. How's it going? Thanks so, for having me. So, Tanker, we're going to ask you some questions here and it's going to be kind of like the same as the other interviews. They're going to start out easy, go to medium, and end up with the hard stuff. Not necessarily hard questions. They're kind of going to be hard questions, but they're going to be, you know, a little iffy, like, you know, what would you nerf, what's OP, things like that. So let's get right into it. Oh, don't you worry, I've already got my answers set. I bet you have. <laughs> so, how long have you been playing World of Tanks? Um, I played a couple months after the beta came out on 360, so nearly four years. Oh, wow. So you've been, you've been at this for a while. How many battles do you have? Estimate. Well, I've got two accounts. The first one had 13,000 games, and now the one that I'm playing on has 8,000, so it's 21,000. Sure. You dirty reroll you. <laughs> uh, well, I was a bit naughty back then, and I got my. my oh, okay, okay. Bands, so, the truth yeah. comes out. So, Tanker, do you use a mic when you play? Or do you just not um, play mic'd up? Only, on, only when I'm talking to mates, if I'm platooned. I don't usually go into game chat and talk to people. Sure. Always a good thing. What kind of mic do you mm. use? Um, one that cuts out a lot. <laughs> Perfect. And you're not wrong. So, what is yeah. your favorite <laughs> map in the game? Pick anything old or new. You've been here a while. Ooh, you know the right. maps. Oh yeah, without a doubt. Rokorovka. Okay, yep. that yep. was quick. I 100%. think you, I think you had that that answer, like, <laughs> oh, you had that answer before I even I'm had the prepared. question. Okay, so do you prefer solo or platoon? Solo, definitely. Yeah. That way you don't have it's to. More sh damage for me to. Handle. I I was gonna say the same thing. You don't have to share. That's yep, yeah. Exactly. And so, if I do platoon, it's no more than three people. Right. Yeah, that realistically, I think, needs to be the cutoff. Two or three tops. That way everybody yeah, gets a slice think, of pie. <laughs> I think four or five man platoons is a, a bit over, you know, over the edge. You can control matchmaking too much and stuff like that. Sure. Control yeah, that, the wind that stops up matchmaking, etc. I know they're talking about reducing it, and I think it's a fantastic idea. I think it's, mm. I think it's a great idea. So, here's, here's something funny, and I'm kind of looking forward to seeing what your answer is. Do you prefer the square map or the circle radar? Square, easily. Okay. I know there's some guys who've been at it for a while who still prefer the circle simply because that's what they've always been used to. Yeah, I think if they switch to the map, not like late when you're playing, but you know, early when you're starting off and you get right. used to it, it'll be way more beneficial to you than the compass in the long run. I, and that's kind of what I th thought as well. As soon as it came out, I started using it, and it was difficult at first. This was way before it had any lines or anything to tell you what your orientation was. So, what is your mm. favorite tank? Um... Hmm... Probably the T124. Okay. Now, does does the um, is that what you have the highest win eight in? The highest win eight I have is the T54, the Russian medium. Sure, thing. sure. Okay. I just want to see yeah, if there's a correlation really between win eight and favorite. <laughs> okay, so you're an E4 no, type of guy. For pure damage, yeah, for pure damage, I would like to go with the E4. Okay, I got you. It makes a lot of sense. Uh, now, what is your least favorite tank to run? I mean, obviously, there's a limited amount. You're going to run a, 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 a tank you don't like, but if you have to, what is your least favorite? Um, if probably you the one that's in my garage right now. I'd say the new Chinese tier 10 tank destroyer. So you're not a fan? No, it just it doesn't have anything going for it. 
it's basically a little bit worse than uh, the T1's N4 in every way. <laughs> <laughs> Honesty. I like it. So, what tiers do you normally run, Tanker? Tier 10 and Tier 8, but only for premium tanks. Okay, sure. And, um, but I am going up the T1 Tenny 3 line at the moment, and I'm at the, uh, the T28 at the moment. Okay. Hopefully get the Doom Turtle soon, and I'll sure. be playing T9s again. So just, you know, you're always running 10s unless you're grinding. And if, yeah. if not that, then premiums, for the cash, obviously. Yeah. Okay, that makes sense. So, how much money have you spent on this game? Hot button question. Too much. Come on now. You got to give me an <laughs> estimate now. You got to give me an estimate. Um, ballpark it. All right, well, I'm probably a bit, yeah, I'm going to ballpark it maybe two, three thousand dollars Okay, all right. So, we're in that same zone. Now, my, my follow-up question is, you know, divide that into three things, kind of where you spent the most money. You know, converted XP, silver, or premium tanks. Um, probably 60% premium tanks, 30% free XP, and 10% just, like, equipment and okay. changing perks out and stuff okay. like that. Okay, sure, sure, okay. That that makes a lot of sense. And for premium me, time, of course. Right, right, yeah. For me, it's, like, 70% free XP. I'm yeah. not a fan of grinding. Okay. Yeah, I usually free XP stuff runs, but yeah. Yeah, yeah. It, it, it's just for me. It's, it's cheaper for me to spend money. To my sanity. Yeah. Uh, this is a really good one, and I'm looking to find your answer. What do you think the most OP tank is out there? Um, besides every single RD in the game, I'd probably say. <laughs> The Waffle E100. Okay. Or the Death Star. Okay. Death Star is like pretty much the same thing everybody has said. Uh, I'm I'm so glad you said. I'd already. probably say the Waffle a bit more than a Death Star. Right. Because the Waffle just um, clip potential. It doesn't fit in the gameplay style. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Well, that yeah. No, you're absolutely right. Um, and then yeah, the Death Star being, you can hit a, a tank anywhere, literally, and you can do over 700 damage. It just doesn't seem a bit fair. It, it is a bit That's off. my opinion, though. No, no, I like it. It's a good opinion. What tank or tank class takes the most skill to play? Mm, probably, say, low armored medium tanks, such as, like, the Batchet, um, TVP, that kind of thing. Sure. Okay. Fantastic. Uh, Follow-up question. What tank or tank class takes the least skill to play? I know where you're going with this. Do I really need to answer that? You need to answer <laughs> it. I need to hear it. Uh, uh, artillery. <laughs> I knew it was coming. Um, this is... We're getting into the really good questions. Uh, and I'm, I'm, I'm looking forward to each of your answers. In your opinion, what is the most broken thing in the game? Not just tank, I mean anything. Um, I'd probably say matchmaking or premium rounds. I feel like premium rounds make the game, you know, the armor. I know everyone says that premium rounds are overpowered, maybe, but I was thinking like if you reduced the damage if you fire premium rounds as a compensation. Oh, I see. You know, what having you're talking about. outstanding penetration. Sure. Or um, matchmaking just being like, I've had multiple games where there might be five tier tens on my team and ten tier tens on their team. So, sure. Now, do you feel like that's gotten better since they instituted battle tiers? Um, I haven't felt a change, you know. No. I think I've seen a change as in, you know, if you're playing 10s, how many 10s are per side versus how many it used to be. Oh, it was horrible for the operation that we had earlier. There'd yeah. Be like 12 or 13 tier 10s in each team for that, you know, twice as much silver operation. That was horrible. Right, right. I, I just mean, I think in general, 
that you know if you're in a tier a tier 10 lobby I think I, I normally see more tens than I used to it may just I, I really be my like PCs matchmaking personally well you know I, I know they're the trying to institute implemented. some things from there but it's really two different games I feel I, you know, it shares the same name, but I kind of feel that, you know, some things would work on console, some things would not. But, you know, what do you do? Uh, next question. What what tank uh, do you think needs to be nerfed? I, I know you're going to say Death Star or Artie, right? Did I guess right? Um, Waffle 100. No, that doesn't need to be nerfed. The Waffle 100 needs to be removed, actually. Okay. So, so you... I'd probably say nerf. Hmm. I'd probably, yeah, just say Death Star nerf. Sure, sure. I yeah, find a lot of those... Like on PC? Yeah, yeah. I, I find a lot of those questions are, are intertwined, really. Because people tend to think the most OP thing needs to be, you know, what they feel needs to be nerfed. I mean, granted, you know, what you think's OP, what I think's OP may be two different things. Obviously, we're both on the same page as far as Artie and Death Stars and Waffles, but mainly for me, Artie. But then again, you know... Yeah. It it's, doesn't matter what maybe, I maybe maybe um auto loaders not all of them just certain ones might need to be changed because I wouldn't say they're overpowered but some just completely outrule other auto loaders like the 50B for example it's kind of irrelevant sure so maybe you know nerf the 57 or buff the 50B that kind of thing to kind of even put them on the same playing yeah. field. So, if you could add anything to the game, what would it be? Um, every single PC change. So, everything. Bring make everything it, in make for it PC. basically PC's version. Sure. Now, how I'm, long... Well, I'm one of those guys. Yeah. <laughs> Have you been playing PC? Or are, you st are you currently playing PC? No, well, I mean, I used to, but um, the device that I played it on broke. So I've I've just been watching, you know, Quickie Baby and Surf Off and stuff like that, and the game looks really nice. I got you. It makes a yeah, no, it makes a lot of sense. I I just kind of wish they would have a version or even itself of XVM on console. But yeah, I, I that don't, could be interesting. Yeah, I don't. No, definitely see that happening but it is what it is so tanker in closing is there anything you would like to say to the folks watching um please don't yolo me in pub games and please don't focus me in artillery and i think that's about it <laughs> that's fantastic that's fantastic guys i really hope you enjoyed please make sure to like subscribe and share we'll see you guys next time